Okay, it's the final amendment. Uh, I think the deck went pretty well. Uh, it could do with some changes. These are just some of the changes that I was thinking about after I had those test games and a few others which you didn't see. Uh, and a lot of these are actually coming directly from my mirror games. You might rec recognize them. One of the things that really surprised me was when I did that mirror game and he had dr card draw. That seemed to incredibly accelerate the deck. And I thought one of the biggest problems I found with the deck is that when, uh, when you are out of cards, you're pretty, you know, there's no way to get back on top if you are underneath the card draw of your opponent. So, Fixian Ranger, very cool. You do lose a life, but we do have a lot of life gain. Baron Moor, it's got cycling. So, you're able to uh, use that to draw. Uh, what other... Oh, yeah, Sign and Blood. Draw two cards, you do pay life, but again, we've got uh, life gain. Night Haze. This is uh, like a sideboardy kind of card. Basically, it's just pay one, draw a card. The Swamp Walk is incidental, I think, to this card in this particular deck. Uh, Feathered Strength is an interesting card. It's an instant. It is three mana to cast, and it allows you to draw two cards at your next upkeep. So you attack, you make it a two, give it a, a you know a plus two, and then you get two cards. And whether the creature dies or not, you still get to draw. So that's a pretty damn good one. Okay. Uh, are there any other draw card ones? Yeah, here we are. Foot Bottom Feast. Okay, this is actually the same as Bone Harvest. So I'll talk about them in a sec. Uh, okay, so basically you can see what I'm saying here. I'm saying card draw seems like a good thing. Here's another one which uh, might be interesting to use. Uh, I'm not quite sure how this would work. Basically, it's uh, it's kind of like a random version of Distress. The difference is that you can use retrace. Now, a retrace allows you to cast this from the direct from the graveyard at any time you want. All you need to do is discard a land in your hand. Now, as you might have known, uh, except for the corruptions, our deck mana curve ends at four. Then it's six for the corruptions. So pull those corruptions out or do a bit of tweaking around there and you should be able to get with the same land draw be able to have all your land active and usable with your creatures but uh, be able to hold land in your hand and constantly get them to discard with Raven's Crime maybe I'm not quite sure I mean you'd have to try it okay uh, what's else some cool stuff here we've done all them done all them Okay, uh, guess verdict. Uh, target player sacrifices a creature and loses a life. So that's uh, like a cheap kill spell. Very cool. Uh, this one is very interesting. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so this goes into your hand, not back onto the battlefield. But the interesting thing, it has a madness cost of zero. And what madness means is that if you are if you have to discard this card into the graveyard, instead of in, instead of discarding it, you get to cast it for the madness cost. So basically, there's quite a lot of this this discard deck is going around inside the tournament room. So if you meet someone who's got a discard deck, you can sideboard these babies in. And then if he discard, if he forces you to discard, you can actually discard this and then for a zero mana cost, get a creature back into your hand. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, this is another card draw one. Uh, Grave Bind. Similar to Feathered Strength, as in it, uh, it's like a one, cut, it's a one mana instant that allows you to draw at your next upkeep and the can't regenerate uh, 
part portion of the rules on this card is not really the point. The point is the draw card. One mana, draw a card. Not bad. Okay, mine, uh, Wrench Mind. <laughs> I thought this card was awesome. Uh, I mean, you know, discard two cards for two mana, not bad at all. Very, very good. It's like a funky mind rot, I guess. Wouldn't have worked against... I played a deck which has all uh, nothing but artifact, artifact lands for Metalcraft. That's a little hint, by the way, if you want to make a Metalcraft deck. Artifact lands worked really well with that guy. Uh, Echo in Decay is another two, a two mana, minus two, minus two to all creatures with the same name as the creature you target. I got uh, burnt by this a couple of times by one of the people I played. I thought that was a very funky card, worth having a look at. Uh, Stir to the Grave. Okay, return a creature card with converted mana cost X or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. So this is like a mass unearth. So if you've got quite a lot of mana, you could just go bang and return anything you want which is pretty damn cool. I'm not quite sure if this would be actually worth running in our deck because if I just go to uh, Unearth. Unearth has a cycling of two, right? Return target card with converted mana cost three. Okay. So pretty much stir to the grave, the only real thing that that would be useful for is getting back your little ninjas because there are no uh, other higher cost cards so that would be a six cast six minor cast dirt of the grave yeah actually i don't think that does fit in our deck let's get rid of it okay grim harvest return card to uh, target creature card from your graveyard to your hand and it also has a two mana recover now recovers sort of hit and miss, which is why I haven't used this before. Uh, basically, if a, if this is in your graveyard and another card goes into your graveyard, another creature card goes into your graveyard, uh, it is a creature card, isn't it? Yeah, another creature card goes into your graveyard, then you can pay the recover cost and this card will go back into your hand. So basically it allows you to pull it in your hand and get your creature back on your next turn. Uh, or even the same turn if you've got enough mana. It is three mana, and the drawback of Recover is if you actually don't have the mana to pay the recovery fee, it'll exile it, uh, which basically makes the card kind of semi-useless in some cases, especially early game. Uh, Grim Harvest, have we done? Yeah, that's the one we just did, sorry. Uh, okay, Soul Expedition. It's an enchantment. Interesting card, this one. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a quest counter on Soul Expedition. Remove three quest counters from Soul Expedition and sacrifice. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Pretty funky little card. Uh, it wouldn't take very long for this to get three counters. If they have destroy enchantments, it's a bit of a waste, but... Uh, being able to pull two cards out of your graveyard at will is not bad after sort of, you know, turn four or something. Especially if he's, by then he's only got a couple in his hand, you bring out a couple of uh, ravenous rats or whatever, you can empty his hand pretty quick. Uh, now these ones are quite interesting. Bone Harvest and Foot Bottom Feast. As far as I can tell, these have the exact same, uh, same t uh, rule text. Put any number of target creature cards from your graveyard on top of your library and then draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Pretty interesting card. So if you have mana to spare, and like I was a couple of times in those games, starving for creatures, you can use this to pull all the creatures out of your graveyard and just get like, you know, say next three turns in a row, I'm just going to continually get my creatures. Plus, you get a extra. You get two of them next turn, so you get two draws on your next turn. And Foot Bottom Feast does the exact same way. So I think that 
I actually think Bone Harvest and Foot Bottom Feast would be really, really good. I didn't actually see these ones in any mirror decks, but uh, I think they're very cool. And Feather Strength and Grave Blind we've done. Okay, so that's just a few uh, alternative cards if you're interested in making variants. And I hope you enjoyed these videos, and uh, if people like it, I will make more. Okay, well... Uh, thanks for watching.